this is turning into a real beauty isn't it now the second most important feature really like the bread and butter of powerpoint is the text box let me go to insert and i will simply insert a text box i will click on it and as you can see i can draw a text box and it will be perfectly to this size and the text will try to perfectly stay into it oh a little lag or you can insert text box and you can simply click and start writing and the text box will be as big as your writing is now there's no difference because you can always take the text box and you can make it smaller to your liking when it comes to text what you need to consider and this will be in the next lecture because i believe this deserves a separate explanation this is a shape box and basically this is also a shape box only with text within it because in this let me show you the drawing tools again the drawing tools because we selected this box and as you can see we still have shape fill shape outline like a big outline and a yellow outline also we have the effects but we also have the text options here let me maybe make the text fill of course white so it's visible let me make it a bit bigger and you see the first problem a text box tries to remain within its text size so depending on how much text there is it resizes this problem does not occur when it comes to a shape because the shape can be as big as possible so but staying in focus staying to what this lecture is intended to be this lecture is intended to show you how to add text and as you can see i did use the drawing tools to edit like the text options but you can always go one step back to home and here you have the native like text options and here you can do everything you want with the text you can bold it you can change the font to for example something like agency if you have this installed on your pc of course you might have uh, different fonts that's of course uh, computer specific then you can justify it to the middle you can Press Ctrl and your right bracket key to make the text quickly bigger. If you want to quickly adjust what's happening here. You can resize this text box and you can of course colorize it. You can change the color of the actual text and as you can see some functions repeat itself because here we can change the color or we can go to the drawing tools and here we have the same functions. This is fine because some functions are simply macro functions that are placed in different places in PowerPoint. But they might be the same functions, just for the convenience of things, they may be duplicated in some places. So your work for this lecture will be go to insert, click on text box and adding a text box. Then I would like you to click on this text box or at least click on a part of this this text and change the color of the text this would be your task for this lecture and in the next lecture which will be also very important i keep saying this lecture after lecture because what i'm telling you here is really important and if you would like to get good at powerpoint in the future you need to start distinguishing those small differences on small details and I promise you, you will become really great at this software in no time. That's the beauty that PowerPoint is so intuitive and so quick to learn that you will make tremendous progress in really a few hours. All right, now it's your turn. Add a text box, try to change the color and try to get a little bit familiar with the options which you have here on the home tab. In the beginning, click around with these, change the font, change the size and you'll be good to go.